if you're coming here from the part one of this video, it's good to know that you're watching the series. And if you were successfully able to solve this one layer and the adjacent layer to it, let's just quickly jump into the next two layers of this particular cube. But wait, on a side note, I mentioned this in my previous video that this layer was the one that actually made me cry because it was so new, I did not know how to approach this problem, mainly because I had not completely accepted this cube, which means that I had not understood properly on what I could actually do with it. And now that I have learned it, I want to tell you. Nice intro. So if you have solved till here, this whole layer and the layer after that, you're good to go. If you haven't, then you can go check out the video that I have already made on how to solve this place. And let's just quickly get to this particular position so that we can go ahead and solve the next two layers. Now, for solving the next two layers, you really don't need any new algorithm that you already might not know because the middle layer algorithm that we already know, which is going to play a huge role in solving this whole cube, is going to be employed the most in this particular case. And also the corner solving algorithm for the first layer, that is on how we bring these particular pieces to its right place, just the first layer. So there is no new algorithm that you have to know, but the only thing is the approach the approach in which how you are going to solve this next particular layer so what this layer actually looks like is the pink is solved and the next two layers are solved so we'll just go to the next layer that is this so what we have to do is we have to solve this whole line which goes like this which in short means that since one particular side is solved now our next step is to solve this color this whole color this whole this whole side and this whole side so once you solve this side you have to solve its adjacent sides like this but also you have to make sure that you just don't bring gray pieces right here they have to match with this side this is like the rule one of solving cubes don't solve the colors solve the positions okay so let's just start with this gray side and we'll start with this particular piece so we need a gray piece which also has light green and orange once again it becomes really complicated to find those pieces in this huge cube okay there's a gray orange and light green so i'll try to bring this piece to this particular side like this there's a lot of traveling that is happening right here okay we need to rotate the side so we need the green on the top like this there you go. So this piece is now in its exact right position. Now the next color that we have to solve is this gray and this orange. Now a very good thing about this cube is if you want to do anything and not disturb this whole side, of course we do not have to disturb this whole side, we can bring that piece onto the top layer, perform whatever we want to do on this side and bring them back to the right place. So if we want to perform any middle layer algorithm, we all know that if I want to move this piece right here, these sides are going to get disturbed. So since in this particular case, I have to solve the gray and orange side. I have the gray and orange piece right here, which I bring like this. Now in this particular case, if I do the middle layer algorithm, I can bring this piece right here and these whole sides are going to get disturbed. None of these sides are solved, so it is okay. But in certain cases, maybe we'll encounter them in the future. And when we do, I'm going to point it out for you so you can better understand what actual issue that we will be facing. This piece can be solved simply by the middle layer algorithm like this. There you go. So these two pieces are solved. Our next step is to solve the gray, orange and light blue. Where is it? So we have this piece right here and we need to bring this piece here. So this is what I'm going to do. Take the corner solving algorithm for the top layer and there. Now the next step, I'm 100% sure we will encounter that right here. We have to solve this gray and light blue. So we have the gray and light blue color right here. So if I want to bring this piece right here like this, what I have to do is make a middle layer algorithm from here to here and from here to here if that is a very brute force method that we are thinking. Even if I do bring this piece right here, if I want to make a middle layer algorithm from here to here to solve this blue and gray piece right to this side, we are going to be disturbing this whole layer which we have already solved and we do not want to do that. So what I'll do is simulate that particular situation. That is, I'll bring this piece right here like this. I'll take this to the side 
bring this to the top like this and there you go so if i do a middle layer algorithm and try to bring this piece right here it is going to solve this side but of course all these pieces may get disturbed so what i am going to do simply is take this piece to the top and my top is going to be the color that is exactly opposite to pink side that is purple side so i'll take these two sides which i want to solve like this to the top so now whatever algorithm i do these sides get disturbed and we really don't care about these sides so i'll do the middle layer algorithm bring this piece right here so these two pieces match and then i'll bring this piece back to its right place like this and we already have a matte side so this is how this is going to happen i'll rotate the side twice and there you go this whole line is solved and these two pieces are also solved now we did not disturb any of these sides the pink layer is solved this whole layer is solved and the layer attached to it is also solved so this is a little trick that i've been using bring these pieces to the top side like this solve it here and then rotate them back to its right place none of the other sides get disturbed and this side is also preserved so here we want to bring the gray this weird color and blue to this place right here like this we need to bring this piece here i'm going to rotate this side now since i have to bring this piece right here this is the corner solving algorithm that I'm going to use and there you go. This whole gray side is also solved along with the pink side. Notice that this whole layer is also solved. So pink side is solved, gray side is solved. The next step is to solve this weird color. So here I have to bring this weird yellow color and light blue color. That piece has to be here. So I'll bring these colors closer to one another like this. Now I have to bring this color right here. I can actually use the middle layer algorithm here because all these sides, even if they do get disturbed, it's not going to create any problem. Simply by the middle layer algorithm, now this piece has come right here. So since we had started to solve this layer from here, we have solved till here. Now the next piece that you have to solve is this weird color light blue and dark green that piece we can find right here this piece needs to come here so what i'm going to do is bring this piece down like this take this to the side and bring this up there you go this is also solved now the next color that i have to solve is this weird yellow color and this dark green color that piece has to be here we'll try to bring this color as close as possible to the side with which we want to solve so there you go this piece is supposed to come here. So what I'm going to do is bring it here first and then solve it with the middle layer algorithm. But since these sides will get disturbed, I'll take this side to the top and do the same middle layer algorithm so that the other sides are not disturbed. So to bring this piece right here, this is what I'm going to do. Take this to the side, rotate it like this, bring this back up and there you go. Now this needs to come here. I'll just simply rotate it twice like this to the top layer but as and when we go ahead to the next layer it is going to get more complicated so it's simply better to go on the top layer and do this algorithm i'll bring this piece right here like this with the middle layer algorithm very simple very basic and now since these two colors are solved i'll rotate it back to its right place like this since we started from here these three lines are solved now the next color that we have to solve is this weird color dark green and red now that piece is right here you have to bring this here so simply i'll do the corner solving algorithm and bring this piece to its right place. You have to make sure none of the other sides are disturbed. That is like rule one of solving the cube. Now the next color that we have to solve is this red and green color. Now we have this red and green right here like this. So I just switched on the light for better visuals. I hope you are able to see the cube properly. So in this particular case, as I was stuck right here, we want to bring this green and red piece right here to its right place. We can employ the middle layer algorithm looking like this because none of these sides, even if they do get disturbed, we don't care. So I'll do the middle layer algorithm. This piece is in its right place. Now the next color that we want to solve is this red dark green and white. So that piece is right here. We need to bring the red piece right here like this. There you go. This piece is solved and we need to find a red and white piece that is supposed to come here. That piece is right here. I cannot actually rotate this side since this will get disturbed. So I need to simply bring this piece right here like this. Take this to the side. Take this twice like this. Bring this up and there you go. Now with the middle layer algorithm with this as the top, I can bring this piece right here. But these sides will get disturbed. So I'll simply take the side to the top like this and do it right here. I can also do it here. It doesn't matter. You can do it on any of these sides. So with the middle layer algorithm looking like this, this side is now solved and to its right position. We now need to find another red, white and dark blue which is supposed to come here. 
now that piece is right here and we can solve this by doing this algorithm there you go now since this piece is solved the next step that we have to do is bring this blue and white piece right here now that piece is here i cannot simply move this side like this because it is going to disturb this side so i'll perform a middle layer algorithm and bring this piece right here so this piece gets on the top layer like this and it becomes easier for me to solve there you go now that piece is on the top here like this now this piece is supposed to come here first i'll try to bring it on this side like this rotate this side bring this up and there you go now with the middle layer algorithm i should be able to bring this piece right here i can perform this on the side because there is no other solved pieces on these sides so simply with the middle layer algorithm this can be solved like this so we started with the gray side like this so this whole line is solved this line is solved the gray side is solved this line is solved and this is also solved the weird color is solved this line is solved this line is solved the red color is solved and these two sides are solved we need to solve these two colors also now i need to find the blue white and yellow colored corner piece which is right here which is supposed to come here so i'm simply going to take this side like this take it outside and try to bring them back to its right place like this now i need to bring this blue side right here so what i'm going to do is take this side like this and there you go now i need to find a dark blue and yellow colored piece which is hiding right here now since i cannot move these sides simply like this because these are solved layers i'm going to bring this piece right here so by this way my blue and yellow color is now freed which is right here what i have to do is bring this piece right here like this so since i cannot bring this yellow piece right here by simply moving it like this and rotating and bringing this down like this so what i am going to do is bring this piece to the side like this and solve it like the middle layer algorithm this way these two sides will be matching just have a look at what i am doing after doing the middle layer algorithm i can see now that these two sides are matching and none of the other sides are disturbed so what i am going to do next is bring this piece right here so that i can solve it with the middle layer algorithm for that i am going to move this side like this take it to the side turn it like this and there you go now i have this piece right here which i need to bring here for this i'm going to take it to the purple side solve the side like this with the middle layer algorithm and bring this piece back down like this this piece is now solved i now need to bring this blue light green and yellow color right here like this the piece is right here i'm simply going to rotate it and bring it to the side like this since i need to bring this piece right here i'm going to do the algorithm like this and there you go this side is now solved now i have to bring this light green and yellow side matching like this i have to find the color which is right here since this is on a side that i cannot reach at the moment what i'm going to do is solve this piece right here so that this piece can come up on the top and also on a side note this piece is actually supposed to go here so it just makes my work easier in the future so i'm going to use the middle layer algorithm right here and there you go this piece is solved actually this is not our intention but yeah we got lucky so now i need to bring this piece right here what i'm going to do is first bring it right here for that i'm simply going to use the middle layer algorithm to bring this piece here if you haven't noticed there is a lot of middle layer algorithm that we are doing so you need to master that so now i have to bring this piece right here i'm simply going to take it to the top layer do the middle layer algorithm again bring this to the right side and there you go this layer is done make sure you keep checking again none of the other sides are getting disturbed so the pink is done gray is done this weird color is done red is done blue is done now we need to solve the green color by solving these two colors and this whole long process of solving this one layer would be done so you can see that this color is actually supposed to be inverted that is going to be a huge long process for that so i'll simply take this color out as soon as possible so i will exchange it with any random other color so when we have a situation like this right here try to solve the middle color before you solve the corner piece it makes the process easier so i need to find a light green color and also an orange color i just removed it and which is right here bring this piece right here like this so we have this matching this needs to go here so i'll simply take it to the top layer like this and solve it with the middle layer algorithm as usual and there you go i have this piece solved now i have to solve this piece this piece is supposed to be of light green yellow and orange color which is right here i'll just take this piece down like this 
take it to the side and there you go this color is also salt so i started with the gray color this line starting from this point is salt like this keep going top down top down top down and then you come back to the piece that you had just started with so the pink side is salt and the colors that are adjacent to that side are also salt like this so if you were able to solve this far you're almost done of course the top layer is remaining but before that we need to solve this next layer that comes right after this layer that you just saw this is extremely simple this is purely middle layer algorithm based solving so what we need to solve is this layer like this all of these colors have to be in its right position so we'll start with this color we need to bring it right here it's no rocket science it's simply the middle layer algorithm this is salt this is already salt we need to bring a yellow and orange to this particular place like this there you go we need to bring an orange and blue to this place we can solve it like this we need to bring a blue and green which is right here and we are done so we solved this whole layer and the layer after that so the only thing that is remaining with this particular cube is the top layer this purple layer the last layer that we're going to solve so the rest of the cube is almost solved if you look at this we started with the pink layer the all the other sides adjacent to the pink layer are also solved and also the layer right next to it so in my opinion this has to be one of the most difficult parts of solving this cube it's not really tricky but a very tedious process but also interesting at the same time not tedious like solving these seven cube where you know what is going to happen but in this particular case it is like a good exercise for your brain so if you have made it this far and have learned how to solve the next two layers of this particular cube please like this video and also subscribe to this channel because the part three is coming out really soon the next step is going to be solving the top layer and we are going to learn some new algorithms that we actually have never really explored in the previous cube still now whatever algorithms that we have done in this particular cube were something that we already knew so i didn't really teach any new algorithm but i actually talked about a way by which we could approach this problem and solve it of course if you want to know how to solve this cube till the end please like and subscribe the next video is coming out soon also leave down in the comment if you were able to solve it this far